Hey guys, so today we're jumping right in. I didn't want to waste any time with a formal intro because as you can tell from these clips, we have our work cut out for us. So this before is what I'm starting out with. I wanted to show you a real life true before of how jam-packed and disorganized this closet really was. The after is going to be so satisfying, so make sure you stick around for that. If you like this type of video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and let's do this. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. We're in the middle of getting ready for our first baby who will be making his appearance within the next eight weeks or so, maybe sooner. So a ton of projects are happening at the same time. My goal was to completely empty out one side of this closet so Joe could put all of his clothes in here, which ultimately means I had to eliminate 50% of my clothing. Joe keeps all of his clothes in the second bedroom because there is a bigger closet in there too. But since that's becoming the baby's nursery, we had to do some rearranging and aside from all that this closet was a complete disaster with no organization whatsoever and it was desperately needed by this point i had to overall figure out a way to utilize the space the best i could which also meant taking the seasonal clothing out and storing it in the attic instead of in here year round As far as part one or day one goes, I'm getting all the clothes out of here, going through piece by piece, and I honestly had to work on this some other days off camera because it was a lot, a lot to get through, but I ended up donating at least four of those like black contractor garbage bags. I don't know if that's what they're called, but those massive garbage bags, which I was happy about. No one needs this many things to choose from, and it was time for a fresh start. Some of those pieces I've had since college, and my style has changed, of course, since then, and a lot of those items haven't been worn in a very, very long time. As I'm pulling out the clothes, I'm trying to sort things into piles too, but as you'll see, it kind of just ends up all together. One of the bins was solely dedicated to office style clothing. I don't wear this type of stuff to work right now, but you never know when you'll need it in the future, so I just packed that away. And I picked up some bins from Target. I severely underestimated how many I would actually need for this project and ended up having to go back for more. But if you're rotating your clothes seasonally, I recommend getting the clear bins so you can at least see what type of stuff is in each of them without having to open and dig through the entire thing. I found that really helpful. I also found the white containers that I showed in the beginning from the Target dollar spot. They were $5 each and those will stay in the closet on the very top shelf for storage of smaller items like shorts which you'll see later on and bathing suits cover-ups things like that I actually went back again today for a few more and Target still had them for the price I think they are great quality This bin right here will be filled with sports shirts. I mean, we go to a game like once a year, if that. So it's really not necessary to keep all these things in my closet 365 days of the year. I always get questions about my clothes too. I shop at several different places, but some of my favorites are Zara. I like boutiques that I found online. One of my go-tos is called These Three Boutique. Vici, Pretty Little Thing, Amazon, of course. And I also have had good luck in finding cute items at H&M. I mostly shop online though. While I have been pregnant, I've strayed away from true maternity clothes and have tried to find alternatives out of all places. 
Sheen has absolutely been the top place I've ordered, which I was shocked about, but every single item I have ordered has worked out. I don't think it's the highest quality, of course. They're so inexpensive, like $10 or less for a dress, but I don't feel bad about only wearing it a few times, which is bound to happen since I'm getting bigger and bigger, seasons are changing quickly, and it's really such a short stage in my life where I'll need this size clothing. And the best part is none of their pieces really look maternity. I mean, I would wear them even if I'm not pregnant, but they do have a specific maternity section. I just think they're a bit more trendy, I guess. Here's a clip of what I've accomplished so far. The left side of the closet was cleared of all my clothing. There's a few hanging pieces that were Joe's, but still a very long way to go and a ton more to do. We're moving along to day two, and as usual, I always like to ask what you guys are doing or working on while you watch today, so let me know in the comments. One thing I was mindful of during this whole process and particular about were the hangers. There were a ton of the wire hangers that I've gotten from dry cleaning, which will be tossed, but also some black velvet ones. Joe will use those on his side. We won't waste them or we'll utilize them downstairs in the coat closet since I'm pretty sure we have plastic down there now and those are the worst if you have them you know everything slides off i did start with one color originally when i organized years ago but over time adding more and more clothes i've grabbed whatever was around and that's how it's become what it is today i did choose to go with white hangers that have a black metal hook for my side and this change alone makes the closet so much more cohesive and look organized i buy mine off of amazon i found they had the best price with the largest quantities better than home goods or tj maxx but throughout this video i've switched out all the hangers for the white ones and we'll continue to do so in the next clips. I decided to get all the clothes in before I sort by color and style. So what I like to do and what I find works best for me is to sort, like I said, by color, but also by what the item is. So this bottom hanging space is mainly bodysuits, but I like the ones that are sleeveless to be together and the ones that have sleeves to be together because I usually know what I want to grab when I'm getting dressed. It's just about finding it when I need it. And to me, this makes the most sense as opposed to just combining it all by color. So if I need a black sleeveless bodysuit, I don't have to dig through the long sleeve ones to find what I'm looking for hopefully that makes sense and I'm explaining it well enough but I just go to the sleeveless section and can find all the black ones together
I'm continuing to declutter. And as you can see right here, the very stressful pile of hangers, how they're all tangled up together. I'm going to undo them all soon. I'm working on the dresses in my closet right now. We go to a good amount of events where I need access to them. And right now, especially I'm living in dresses, but I do feel like they take up a lot of space and they aren't something I really wear every day normally. So I do have to figure that out eventually. I also have some cardigans to the left. Living in New York is weird because although it's summer, the nights and the mornings can be chilly. So I like to keep some sweaters on hand because you kind of go back and forth depending on the day. At this point too, I wasn't able to try much on considering most of this doesn't fit me right now and I'm not wearing crop tops. So eventually I'll have to go through this again. I don't know if I'll ever get back to my size before pregnancy. We will see. I tend to hold on to pieces though that don't fit, hoping one day they do. And it's just a bad habit. Let me know if you're like that too. Like I have jeans from years ago that I mean, I can't even get past my knees, so I did get rid of those this time around. Either way, I have made significant progress with my clothing. I guess there's just always more to do. I did go through my shoes and organize them a few months back. I'll link that video below if you need more motivation, but those were already taken care of. And like I said a few minutes ago, I did work on some of this off camera. So I did what I like to call a first pass where I went through all my clothing and the obvious pieces I knew I wouldn't wear again. I donated right then and there, but the second pass was for those harder pieces that I couldn't let go of. So if you're working on something similar, whether it's a closet or drawers, you don't have to do it all in one go around. Take your time with it. The hanging space I'm organizing now are nicer tank tops and crop tops. Again, I'm switching things up to have them in a more color coordinated way. My everyday tank tops or things I wear to the gym are in a separate drawer along with t-shirts. That's why I don't have too many in the closet i'm trying to stay focused but somehow all i can think of is when you split i gotta find the motive play forward watch every sequence bit by bit because this is my own Because the closet system is a mixture of shelving units and hanging spaces, I'm trying to figure out what works best where. I never change things up. I'm a creature of habit, so I did put the sweatshirts back on the shelves, but I'm wondering if there's a better way to store them that take up less room. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. Like, do you think hanging them would be better? I don't know. I have never tried that actually, but they always look messy to me when they're on the shelves. I know another solution could be to buy more of those white bins from Target and put them in there so you don't really see them folded, but I just feel like that would be harder in the morning um, when I'm going to grab things really quickly to run out the door to get to the gym or wherever I'm going. I guess I'm addicted and need to know why you rejected me. I think I will get a second chance. If I saw the puzzle, it would all make sense. But deep inside, I know it's not that simple. Feels like I'm banging my head against the wall. I keep on searching for the missing pieces.
This was a new organizer that I had just gotten in and it was by far my favorite, again from Amazon. So before I had the bags thrown on the shelf with these wire dividers, they would fall over and it didn't serve much purpose, but this set is amazing. They all came together. The dividers themselves come out and you can move them closer together or further apart depending on how big the item is you're storing. I saw online some people use them for their jeans, which I thought was a really good idea. I decided to put all of my handbags in here and it turned out literally perfect. I was so happy with it. Just can't believe what you think and feel Cause I've been going backwards Drifting off with your words Can't find a way to deal with this now Don't you see you imply forever But this is however Not in line with your own vows Cause it's a bitter, bitter pill Those bags are going right into the closet And in the end I was able to accomplish my goal of getting 50% of the clothing out of the closet, but now I'm going to get ready to show you the before and after clips I hope you guys enjoy them I hope you got a ton of motivation from this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.